welcome to Puzzle Master. Today I'm going to be showing you the solution for the Hanayama Dolce Puzzle. Which means I'm going to show you the four or five moves that you need to do to separate those two big clunky pieces away from each other. And then I'm going to show you how you can do the reverse of those four or five moves to put it back into its original Dolce Puzzle position. Now the Dolce is a level 3 out of 6 on the Hanayama difficulty scale and it is a level 7 out of 10 on the Puzzle Master difficulty scale. And if you don't already have the Dolce puzzle for yourself then you can pick it up from our website puzzlemaster.ca and without further ado let's get on with that solution. Okay so here we have a fully assembled Dolce puzzle. For describing these, we're going to keep it nice and simple. This is the silver piece, this is the gold piece. And for the orientation of it, what we're going to be doing, and to make it as easy as possible for you to follow along, we're going to be keeping the silver piece still in the same position the whole time. And we're just going to move the gold piece around the silver piece. So the first thing we need to do is get the right side, or the easiest side to see, of the silver piece. We can obviously hold it this way around, or we can hold it this way around. And if we were just to use the grooves that are on sort of either side of the arrow, it's quite hard to distinguish which side is which. However, what we can do is we can use the engraving of AY that is on both sides. And luckily for us, it's on the same side. So you, as you look down on the silver piece, you will either see the AY engraving on the right hand side, or you'll see it on the left hand side. We want it on the right hand side. So the AY engraving is on the right side of the silver piece as we look down on it here. And now what we're going to do is we want the gold piece on the left hand side of the silver circle and we're then going to lift the gold piece up and around and into this position. And we want to line it up on the opposite side grooves to what side it is on. So we're looking at the right hand side grooves of the, on the silver circle. And from there, this is the tightest move, by the way. All we have to do here is just slide over the, those grooves and into this position here. And that is the tightest move that you do throughout this whole solving process. Next, all we're gonna do is we're gonna make the cross, turn the cross so it's on the left-hand side and below the silver puzzle, uh, the silver piece. And then we're gonna slide back on over the grooves on the left-hand side into this position. Then, what we're going to do is we're going to turn the gold piece around onto the left hand side of the circle again. We're going to lift it up and we're going to line the groove up in this different orientation now. So we're in this position and we can then slide on to the silver or into the silver circle with the cross. So we're in this position as we look at it now. And now we've just got two moves to do. And what you'll notice we can do now is we can use the groove on the left hand side of the arrow to sort of hook that left hand side cross into that position here. And what that does is that gives us enough, enough space to get the opposite side of the cross down into this position. So we're now we've got half a cross or the right hand side of the cross out and we've got the top and the left hand side of the cross still in that circle. What we need to do now is unhook the left hand side so we come back to the groove and back into the middle of the circle and we're close to actually sliding these two pieces out now, but we're not quite there. What we need to do is we need to turn anti-clockwise around until the, well, what is now the right hand side of the cross, the, the piece or the side that's still in the silver circle to this position. And in here, you've probably just seen it. We can drop out, we now have enough room to drop that right hand side out and then separate the top bit of the cross and completely separate the Dolce puzzle from there. And for putting the Dolce puzzle back together we're going to do exactly the same but in the reverse order. And we're going to keep it nice and simple as well so we're going to hold the silver piece as much as we can in this position the whole time with the AY engraving on the right hand side as we look down on it and the gold piece is just going to move around the silver piece as we look at it. So first of all, we need to get the right side of the cross of which is going in first. So we want the gap in the cross on the right hand side as we look at it here. And with the sort of groove in, uh, the grooves in here are slightly differently shaped. We want the one that's more circle shaped on the right hand side. And that is the piece that's going to come up into the silver circle first. 
So first of all, the top of the cross goes in onto the left hand side and then we've got enough room to sneak the what is now currently the right hand side of the cross into this position here. And we can then turn the gold piece around so we can now hook what is now the left hand side onto that edge of the silver circle. We can then bring it around and we've then got the room to bring the rest of the cross up through and into the silver circle. We're then gonna unhook the cross off and we're, in, we're stuck in, well not stuck, but we're in this position here. What we're then gonna do is we're gonna use the gap in the gold piece here to come back over this gap or this, these grooves on the left hand side of the circle piece. So we're gonna angle it into this position here and then we're gonna slide up and over and onto the edge of the silver circle. Now you'll end up on the left hand side. We want to move it all the way around to the right hand side and we're then going to lift the gold piece. The cross is going to be on the left hand side relative to the gold piece and we're then going to slide over the left hand side grooves on the silver side on the silver piece into this position here. So now we're on like the neck of the silver arrow. And what we're then going to do is we're going to bring the cross up above the silver piece to the right hand side and we can then do the last move which is again the tightest move at least on my puzzle it is and we just cross over that gap give it a bit of a wiggle and that is how you fully reassemble the Dolce puzzle. So there it is, that is how you disassemble and then reassemble the Dolce puzzle. The hardest part is probably just identifying which side of the silver piece that you are working from, that original starting position. The rest of it is, is relatively straightforward. The first move for taking it apart and then the last move putting it back together is probably the the stiffest if that makes sense the hardest or the the tightest move that you that you will do out of all of the moves but hopefully this has helped you solve the dolce puzzle for yourself if you want to pick up more puzzles just like the dolce puzzle then check out our website puzzlemaster.ca where we have the biggest variety of puzzles on the internet in the world and until next time i'll see you later